All right, it is time to get you caught up on all the hot Hollywood headlines. So let's get the celebrity scoop from our man in L.A., Justin Sylvester. Yeah. Hey, Justin. Justin, we know we have a lot to get to. Good but morning. Uh, Justin, morning. I love your sweater. And I was wondering, um, because this has been just sitting in the tracking booth for about <laughs> one month, it says Balenciaga. I thought, could this be Craig Melvin's? No. Could it be Al? Is it, it yours? Might be Craig. Is it yours, Justin? It might be Craig. Justin? It is totally mine. Oh, I forgot yes. it. I'm sorry. Justin, I'll send it back to you after I wear it for a couple weeks. <laughs> Thank you. Um, how are you, Justin? Tell us about Brad Pitt. Yes, he's hot in the news. You guys. Guys, Brad Pitt made some news this weekend. He hard launched his relationship with his girlfriend, Inez de Roman. Now, this is crazy because they have been dating for a year. We have not seen them really together in public, but Brad picked this moment at the British F1 event to go ahead and let everybody know. Now, I thought he was going to hide this woman until it was time for her first colonoscopy because, you know, <laughs> all this drama with Angelina Jolie, I thought he was going to keep this woman in the closet, but this is a pretty big deal for him. And I got to tell you, he's not only hard launching this, he's hard launching his F1 movie that looks like it's going to be phenomenal. Uh, speaking of movies, Mr. Justin, what about Wicked? There's some news out about that. All right, y'all, let me tell y'all about Wicked. So, you remember when Wicked was supposed to come out, like, you know, Christmas Day? Yeah. Yes. Well, they kept on backing up the dates, and now it's coming out November 22nd, the same day as Gladiator 2. What? Ooh. Now, if you, yes, yes. Now, if you were Gladiator 2, you would say, you know what, I'm not going to try to fight these two unbelievable women. I'm going to go ahead and pick a different weekend to come out. But I'm hearing that these two studios are looking at this as an opportunity to create another Barbenheimer, oh. okay? So, and I don't know about y'all, I was gonna be a Wicked Girl because Cynthia's my of boo course. and I love Ariana Grande, yes. but look at this trailer for Gladiator 2. I remember that day. I never forgot it. But a slave could take revenge against an emperor. Whose head could I give you that would satisfy this fury? The entire Roman armies. Too much. The general will do. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Ladies, are you going to see Wicked? Or are you going to go see Paul Mescal Wicked. shirtless with Denzel Wicked. Washington? We're still going to oh, see Wicked. Oh, of course. Sorry. Of course. But Although right. Paul Mescal looks hot. It looks like a, it looks like it's going to be really Really. Good. He really does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so tell us some, um, there's a major reboot that we're hearing yes, about. Yes, we're, we're dying. Praying, praying about. And your sweatshirt feels so good, Justin. <laughs> Uh, thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to sell it on eBay. Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> I think I can get Don't a you dare. For this. I'm going to take your first board. I'm going to take your first board. Mia Hager. And your shat. <laughs> and your shat. I'm going to take your shat with me. You guys, Devil Wears Prada. Have you guys heard of the movie? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's coming out with a sequel. Everybody has been wondering. So all we know right now is that the original writer is back on board. We don't know anything anything about casting, but I what I will tell you, do you remember last year at the SAG Awards when all three ladies showed up to do a moment? Yes. yes. When something like that happens, hair, makeup, wardrobe, everything has to be perfect, paid for, and accounted for. I think at the SAG Awards, we were seeing them get back together so that the studio could see if there's still some excitement. Well, apparently there's been enough excitement that they greenlit the sequel, but they won't tell us who's in it. But I have a feeling these three ladies are coming back for some more devil. You know what? It sounds like it's going to be great. And I like the idea that Emily Blunt may end up being an executive who goes head to head with Miranda Me Priestley. Too. Me too. It could be real good. Right, Justin? It's going to be phenomenal. So get your tickets to that, too. Justin, okay, thanks will. for the sweater. I'll, uh -huh. I'll take a picture of my shat. Yeah. <laughs> my shat wearing his first Balenciaga dress. I'm allergic. <laughs> Don't Just you kidding. Worry. I'll send it back to you. Love you, honey. Come you, and y'all can catch Justin maybe in the sweatshirt weeknights at 11 on our sister network, E.